Let's discuss this news about Cummins being fined $1.67 billion for violating the Clean Air Act. It's a significant penalty. Yes, it's a massive fine. They were accused of installing defeat devices on nearly a million engines used in ram pickups. That's a serious violation. Indeed, the settlement concerns the emissions equipment used on 960-000 diesel engines. A large portion of them had defeat devices. That's concerning for emissions standards. And these devices allowed harmful nitric oxides to be released into the environment. It's not just an environmental issue but a health concern too. Right, and this settlement is the largest Clean Air Act violation settlement ever. Cummins supplies engines to other companies too, so it has far-reaching consequences. Cummins claims they've been conducting an internal review since 2019 and that they haven't acted in bad faith. Do you think this fine will impact their business significantly? It's hard to say. They do acknowledge the recall of affected trucks and expect the settlement to cost over $2 billion. But they also mention being in a strong financial position. I've been following this Cummins case closely. It's a massive fine of $1.67 billion for Clean Air Act violations. What's your take on it? Yes, Harold, it's a significant penalty for installing defeat devices on nearly a million engines in RAM pickups. This is a serious environmental issue. From an ethical standpoint, this raises questions about corporate responsibility and the impact on the environment. Are fines like this effective in deterring such behavior? I wonder if such fines really make a difference for large corporations. Cummins says they've been conducting an internal review since 2019. Do you think they've learned their lesson? It's hard to say. The settlement is substantial, but it's crucial that companies take their environmental responsibilities seriously. We can't afford to compromise our planet's health. This case also highlights the importance of ethics and corporate culture. It's not just about the financial penalties, it's about fostering a culture of responsibility and sustainability. Wow, Cummins got hit with a massive $1.67 billion fine for Clean Air Act violations. What's your take on such a hefty penalty? I'm not surprised. Corporations often prioritize profits over environmental concerns. This is a prime example of why we need stricter regulations. But do you think such fines really make a difference? Cummins claims they've been conducting an internal review. Will they change their ways? I agree with Beasley. However, we also need to address the systemic issues that lead to these violations. It's about more than just penalties. It's about corporate ethics. Diesel engine manufacturer Cummins has agreed to settle an accused violation of the Clean Air Act for a record $1.675 billion. The company was accused of installing defeat devices and other undisclosed emissions equipment on almost a million engines used in RAM pickups allowing the release of thousands of tons of harmful nitric oxides. This settlement has raised discussions about corporate responsibility, environmental impact, and the effectiveness of such fines. Cummins fined $1.67 billion for diesel defeat devices in 630,000 RAM pickups.